Say cheese. This is a demonstration of using QR codes to activate a shooting session for an event. This is very useful for scenarios where there is a public setting and we want every session to be quickly associated with users that already have some kind of a physical or app-based ID issued to them, such as a ticket or a unique mobile app that they can quickly scan with the robot, uh, get their photos taken, and then sent to the right place. So here's an example of a, a physical card that was generated from Oco's backend. Any number of those tickets can be generated from an event admin console. And the assumption here is that one way or the other, those cards are distributed to uh, people who will be taking photos with the robot. So uh, let's take a look at how the flow goes. Here you can see uh, the scanning uh, user interface. And this main screen basically invites people to scan the QR code. Uh, it's a simple one, two, three process where the user can scan the QR code. This is sort of a preview of what it's going to look like during the shooting session. And finally, the third step in this particular case, it says scan this card later at any point to access your photos. So once the shooting is done, there's no need for a user to uh, be scanning any QR codes off of the robot screen. This is their ticket to getting their photos. So let's do that. Uh, the scanning is uh, very straightforward. As you can see, I just uh, uh, kind of uh, quickly scanned it with the, uh, with the user interface, and now the robot's ready. And it's going to take my photo now. Hello. Uh, and the sessions can be controlled uh, as far as the duration and the number of photos that you can take during the session. So right now I set it to, I think, 10, 15 seconds, and that was it. It was a very quick session. If I take, if I scan this again, again, you know, I get, uh, we get another session. And during that session, again, we can probably take another photo, maybe two, uh, if we can kind of squeeze it in 10, 15 seconds. And this, this duration is uh, fully adjustable uh, and configurable from the, from the back end. Uh, now that those photos have been taken, how do we access them? Well, again, so this is, this is our ticket to that event. I'm going to, uh, start my phone. It, iPhone has a built-in QR scanner right in its camera app, and this is an Android. I just downloaded uh, one of probably many hundreds of freely available QR scanners. I start this app, and uh, and I aim it at the QR code here. Here it is. And what we have here is a link, so I tap that. Every app has a slightly different a user interface, and as you can see, that's it. Those are my photos, very high quality, and I can scan through them. I can uh, share, print, if printing is enabled for this event, or uh, you know, further further share it, download it, etc. Uh, so that's it. That's the that's the main session. The important thing to understand is that any number of those can be used on an event, and every user will have a unique album access that will not be mixed at any point. With, uh, with the photos of other people. So there's no such concept anymore as a publicly available album where people can see each other's photos.